Hey folks, here Rachana Ranade here and today we are going to discuss about a space which was absolutely buzzing in the last week. These are few stocks which went up by ranging from 6% to 80% up in a single week. And that is the reason why all of a sudden there are a lot of people who have started to gain interest in this space. So in today's video, we are going to try and understand some key concepts about semiconductor chips. We are going to try and understand a little bit more about Vikram 32, which is a very proud moment for India. We'll try and understand which are the stocks from this semiconductor space. And very important, we'll try and understand what is the reason behind this buzz in semiconductor stocks. So a lot of things to learn in today's video. So keep on watching the video till the end. Before we move on, a quick and important update. Two Hargar Investor events coming up this month. One is going to happen this Sunday at Ahilyanagar on the 14th of September at 11.30 a.m. And the second one is, oh, the pre Ahilyanagar one is, at, is in Marathi. And the second one is on the 27th of September at Prabodhankar Thakre Sabhagruha. It's at Borivili, Mumbai. And uh, that's going to happen on the 27th of September at 11 a.m. Both these events are going to be super fun. We we discuss about stocks or mutual funds, which is a better choice. We do talk about what is my target for Nifty. We talk about how can we use AI for investing and everything happens in a super fun-filled manner. So if you are staying in or around these areas, please book fast because if you check a uh, Nagar event is... I mean, pretty much booked. You can see all these grey dots all, all are booked and few seats left here, of course. But uh, anyways, if you are living close by, please book the tickets right away. I'm going to give the links of both these shows in the pinned comment and in the description box below. Now let's understand three key stages or three key phases in a semiconductor chip make making process. Now, uh, I'll be very honest for a common student like me, understanding this was a very tricky part. Uh, thanks to AI, I was able to gather a lot of information for visualization. I created a few pictures. I, I actually tried to make some videos using vids and because of which I was able to understand quite a bit. But just in case, if you are a person who is working in the semiconductor space or in, in this field, I'm sure you will have way better grasping as compared to me. So please feel free to tell me in the comment section if you have some value additions, right? So for a layman, I'm explaining this to you. There are three key steps in the semiconductor chip making process. Okay. First things first, of course, is the chip design. Second, we talk about fabrication of that chip. And third, it's about packaging and testing. We call that as ATMP and OSAT. Okay. Now, first, we'll talk about chip designing. Obviously, before we make any product, designing is the primary stage. Here, a few engineers of, for any company, basically, they'll come together, they'll try and create the blueprint of the chip. So once the brainstorming is done, once the blueprint is prepared, once it's ready, finalized, then the process of actual manufacturing that chip would start, which would be step number two. Okay. Now, where will this be manufactured? Of course, in a factory, but they call this as fabs. Okay. Now, what happens here is that you can imagine semiconductor chips are prepared from silicon. Okay. Now, this silicon will first be rolled into a, a wafer. Okay. Now, this wafer, what, what will be done on that? There will be a photolithographic machine through which millions and billions of transistors are printed on this silicon wafer. Now, wait. What was all this last... 10 seconds all about. Simple. I'll give you a very simple parallel example. Like we would draw mehendi on our hands. Correct? Similarly, you can imagine that mehendi cone is a photolithographic machine. And instead of a hand, we have our silicon wafer. Okay? We print a design on our hand. Similarly, a lot of transistors will be printed on that silicon wafer. Now, what is that transistor? What is the use of that? We'll understand about it later. Okay? As of now, the silicon wafer is printed and ready. Now in the next stage, which is packaging and testing, uh, what is done is that after this whole base fabrication is done, chips will be cut from that. Okay. So you can imagine uh, something like this exactly uh, that, you know, some lines are drawn vertically, horizontally, and you are just popping out few chips from that. Okay. These chips are nothing but silicon chips. Then they'll be placed on a mold pad. Then wires will be used to bound them. And after that, they'll be packaged, which can then be mounted on a PCB. Okay. Of course, testing, a lot of rigorous testing will go into each and every phase. Ultimately, please understand, once it is mounted on the PCB, then it can be used in different, different devices. Which devices? Mobiles, 
we require semiconductors for mobiles we require semiconductors for televisions we require them for cars we require them for even two wheeler evs we would require them for rockets oh my god there are so many uses of the semiconductors so that is the reason why i thought of first telling you these three phases next part we are going to understand vikram 32 which was a big buzz in the previous week what was it all about have we really indigenously manufactured one semiconductor chip or not is what we want to understand in the next section now let's talk about what happened in india last week uh, we had semicon india 2025 conference and during this conference india unveiled its first fully indigenous 32 bit processor chip which is named vikram 32 which is fabricated using a 180 nm cmos processor okay and i'm sure you might be like what just what happened right now we didn't understand half of it okay now simple let's let's try and break it down during this conference semicon india 2025 conference we announced we unveiled our first fully indigenous full made in india fully indigenous 32 bit processor chip it's a semiconductor chip that we have made in india acha made means what designed in india fabricated in india tested in india everything okay for example it was designed at vikram sarabhai space center example nahi it's actually the truth it was designed at vikram sarabhai space center and where was it fabricated at isro's scl scl is semiconductor lab in mohali okay that is where it was fabricated now uh, this vikram 32 chip this was fabricated using a 180 nm cmos processor so basically please try to understand that these semiconductor chips would come with different different sizes uh, it is said that maybe it's a 2 nm chip it's a 3 nm chip it's a whatever nm chip it's a 180 nm chip okay now many times people don't understand what is this exactly 2 nm chip all about basically for us a layman this may be may not be technically 100% correct but what i understood this from chat gpt and from gemini and from other ai tools be it cloud or perplexity whatever i understood this it's it's something close to the transistor size but what was a parallel analogy given for this i'll tell you as a simple example assume that on this hand let us say fewer transistors are placed the distance between the two transistors is large so fewer transistors can be placed in that case it will be a higher nm chip okay less number of transistors packed on a chip will be something like 180 nm chip but if the transistors are tightly packed millions and billions of transistor it i read it on one nail billion millions and billions of transistors can be placed if that be so extreme no no space between these two transistors that will be like a 2 nm chip so in short again i am repeating this this may not be 100% technically correct for a layman that's how chat gpt explained this to me the distance between the two transistors when it is extremely less that it lesser it is lesser is the chip size 2 nm where distance will be very less higher the distance chip size will increase and it will be like 180 nm chip or whatever okay now these 2 nm chips typically they are they are very fast they are they they, they use very less power they are extremely expensive very efficient but then you will be like india must not have manufactured this 2 nm chip in vikram we have used 180 nm chip now 180 nm it's much slower it's less efficient it is comparatively cheap and that is why we manufactured it no no not at all the use case of 180 nm chip is totally different it is used in environments where it has to face harsh temperatures rugged atmosphere and that is the reason why whenever we are talking about using semiconductor chips in space 180 nm chips could be a smarter choice as compared to a 2 nm chip okay and that is the reason why we have gone ahead with the 180 nm chip so good one for india okay so going back with this 180 nm ka vikram 32 chip it was successfully validated in space abroad at the pslv c60 all in all i can say that this is definitely a very good milestone in india's semiconductor mission this was in fact presented formally to our prime minister narendra modi ji and if someone were to say that we have become atmanirbhar in semiconductor space right now it's it's too much please nowhere nowhere we are even close to being atmanirbhar in semiconductor space but can i say it's a good beginning in the space yes can i say it's a very proud moment for us our first step in this space 100% yes okay we will have to ensure that this space keeps on growing at a faster pace but then we immediately try and think that is government taking any specific efforts for that or not so i'll just show you this uh, paper which was uh, posted on 
6th of April 22, a little bit old, but by Ministry of Electronics and IT. Uh, here they have mentioned that government has come up with four schemes so that semiconductor fabs in India are given a boost. So they say whatever is the capital expenditure, whatever is the project cost for 28 NM, now you know 28 NM, the semiconductor ka jo transistor hai, the transistor space is what we are talking about. Distance between two transistors. 28 NM or lower. Then 50% of the project cost will be funded by the government. 28 NM to 45 NM up to 40% of the project cost. Whatever. Then one more is for display fabs. Then if you go to the third one, you will see. Uh -huh, here you are seeing semiconductor assembly, testing, uh, market, uh, marking, packaging, ATMP OSAT. Did we talk about this? This was the third one. Step one was designing. Have they even given? Yes. Design linked incentive scheme. We have incentive schemes for design. We have incentive scheme for fabs. And we have incentive schemes for ATMP OSAT also. So good government is taking quite a bit of efforts even for ensuring that this semiconductor space increases in India. Look at that. Huh? Uh, I have one question. You have a question. I'm explaining something and she has a question. Okay. No problem. Tell me. Are there any different types of chips? Are there any different types of chips? What happened today? Today you are asking questions right in between the show. Okay, no worries. She she was continuously, you know, okay, no worries. I'll, I'll quickly give the answer. See, basically there are different types of chips. So these, these people in my office, they use fancy gadgets. Something like, yeah, I use normal laptop. He uses what? MacBook, iPad, then iPhone. So if I'm talking about a MacBook or an iPad, they use something like Apple M3 chip or M2 chip. Okay, that is a different type of chip. Or if I'm talking about NVIDIA, they also have their own chips. But types, there will be what different kinds of chips they could be. So you can imagine something like this. Whenever you have to store something in your mobile or laptop, it will require a memory chip. Your iPhone battery, <clears throat> whatever, it requires you know, it requires a lot of power. Uh, but that will be a separate power chip is what I can say. Okay. Plus, you can imagine something when we say, hey Siri or okay Google. It's a sensory chip that it requires so that it can sense our voice. It can understand that and give the answer. So one is a sensory chip. One could be a semiconductor, semiconductor chip which will act like a brain, understand and then answer. Okay. So of course, there are a lot of chips. Uh, sometimes Siri also answers. That's like a communication chip. Bazalaga. All she's saying, okay, got a lot of examples. Fantastic. You broke my link, but okay. Uh, Baki, balance, uh, what are the different uh, stocks which are listed in the Indian space? We'll, we'll discuss that in the next section of the video. Now, let's move on with the stocks which are listed in the Indian stock market. Now, we are going to divide this into three categories. The categories that we learned in the beginning of the video, be it semiconductor designing, be it fabrication, and be it ATMP and OSAT. Okay, first things first designing chip designing in that we have one stock which is moss chip technologies and it it is listed it was up by 47 percent in the previous week that's the only pure play listed company in the space of chip designing uh, we have two more companies which are not directly but are indirectly listed why am i saying that because they are not listed but their parent company their holding company is listed for example for sunkalp semiconductor hcl tech which is their parent company is listed. For Sankhya Labs, Tejas Network, which is their parent company is listed. Okay. Balance 3 that you can see on screen, Signal Chip, Sturdian and Ineda, all these are unlisted companies. These are only examples, huh? not 100%. I have not, not taken the entire space, entire universe in this space. Let's go to the next one, which is Fab, Fabrication. And no company is listed in this space. None. Not even one. Uh, but... Of course, you remember this name, SCL Semiconductor Complex uh, uh, Labs. Uh, basically, this is where Vikram 32 was fabricated. Uh, government run fab for space and defense uh, chips, of course, unlisted. Other three also are unlisted. But one point to, uh, to be discussed about Tata Electronics, they, they have a proposed fab coming up in Gujarat in Sanan. And the capital outflow expected is around 91,000 crores. If you remember, I told you, billions of dollars of investment is required for a semiconductor fab. It's not that easy to actually install and you know get started right away. Ultimately, we also have uh, the third category, ATMP OSAT, in that we have three companies which are listed, uh, SPEL Semiconductors. Uh, this is a, a listed company and its stock was up by 80% in the previous week. Uh, please, please be beware about such fast, super fast rallies. Typically, what I've seen in the past is after an extremely fast rally, 
there are great chances of profit booking also okay so i'm not saying that because it went up by last 80 percent again it will go up no please check uh, do the fundamental technical analysis by yourself right second one canes third one is cg power uh, all these both these companies none of them is only into semiconductors uh, they have multiple other business segments as well one of them is semiconductors canes was up by 12 percent in the last week uh, cg power was up by almost six percent in the last week Others three that you can see, Tata Electronics, uh, Sahasra, IJSS, all these are unlisted. Now, when they make these chips, to whom can they sell them? They can sell them to companies which are making TVs, uh, ACs, mobiles, laptop, blah, blah, whatever, okay. Now, who could these companies be in the listed space? It could be something like Dixon Technologies, it could be Umber Technologies, Tejas Networks, HFC, HFCL, all these could be their customers, right? But going back, now we have to understand the last and final point as to why was there a rally, such a such an amazing rally in semiconductor stocks? The reason is very simple. We had Semicon last week. Uh, we actually saw something which we had, we were just dreaming of that a fully indigenous chip made in India. Uh, and of course, Vikram 32 proved it. Uh, we also tested it. It was presented to our prime minister and very, very, uh, you know, proud moment for our country as well. Uh, always remember that stock market also reacts a lot to sentiments. It's not always that it'll react to confirmations. Sentiment is really important. Uh, f were we able to design it? Were we able to fabricate it? Were we able to test it? Everything in India? Yes. So that gives a positive sentiment and uh, that was the reason why uh, the overall space saw a good rally. Of course, I did talk about government policy supporting this. Uh, so all in all, uh, what, what are we targeting? It is expected this that this entire semiconductor space would be valued at around $1 trillion. And India is trying to, you know, take at least a pie of that. So, of course, things will unfold in the future. Let's see if you are able to tap this market or not. Uh, I hope you found a lot of value in today's video. If you did, please don't forget to smash the button. Uh, smash the like button. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Jai and bye-bye. You might have come across such advertisements on various social media platforms. Please note, all of these are fraudsters promising unbelievable returns through stock tips. I don't provide any calls or advisory services. I provide only educational content through my social media handles and through my website rachanaranade.com and rachanaranade.in.